wherever you are this morning, geographically, in body, mind and spirit, let us embrace this moment and connect with God. Let us start our day here in conversation with God. This day, a gift from God. He has put you on earth to experience this day for a purpose. God, I quiet my mind of other thoughts so I can give myself more fully to you. As in Psalm 5.3, O Lord, in the morning you will hear my voice. In the morning I will direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. Psalm 143.8 Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for I trust in you. Cause me to know the way I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Let me be open to the message and beauty of God's message in every situation that I encounter today. It might help to imagine yourself in a peaceful place, maybe a forest with the morning sun rays shining through the trees and warming your face. As deers roam and birds sing. Or on a warm sandy beach with the gentle tide lapping at your feet. Let us not get swept up in trying to predict how the day will unfold. We will take this day before us, moment by moment. And so let us then find a way in this moment, the moment we have control over, right here, right now, to connect with God. Remember, as it says in Isaiah 58, 11, God will guide thee continually. He will satisfy thy soul, make strong thy bones, Thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. God strengthen me this morning. Hydrate me with your message. This morning, let God's love fill us up like water to a flower. Let God's love be like dew on a spring morning. Let God's love be the first glass of water on this day. Let his guidance shower down on us like rain, bringing refreshment, bringing new life. As in Hosea 6.3, as surely as the sun rises, God will appear. He will come to us like the rain like the spring rain that waters the earth. Let God's love saturate our mind and body. Let his hand guide our course and direction. With the word of God nourishing our every step, let us blossom into the day ahead. Let us exhibit the qualities detailed in Colossians 3.12, such as kindness and humbleness of mind. Let us go out into the world as a vessel of God's love, filled to the brim. Oh, I feel so refreshed with God by my side. As in 1 Corinthians 6.20, glorify God in your body and in your spirit. 
Let us receive his word and turn our ear to wisdom and apply our heart to understanding as it tells us to do in Proverbs 2.2. As in Proverbs 2.6, God gives wisdom. Out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Let me have a cool spirit and be a person of understanding as guided to be in Proverbs in 1727. As in Psalm 119, 105, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Should I stumble today, I remember that God will guide me back to him. Psalm 37, 24, though I might stumble, I shall not fall, for God holds me up with his hand. Isaiah 30, 21. Your ears will hear a voice saying, this is the way, walk in it. God, let your wisdom guide my actions today. Let your message stay close to my heart and mind as I navigate the day ahead. Let me show kindness, patience and tolerance in my interactions with others. Tender-hearted and forgiving as it says in Ephesians 4.32. Let me remember the teachings of Matthew 22.39. Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. Let me exhibit knowledge and understanding in all I do and how I respond. God, let me be your ambassador today. Let us remember to be lights in this world. Philippians 2.15 In work, family, community, let me be a pillar of fairness. Let me look out for those in need. As in Matthew 5.16, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Each new day is a blessing, which gives us the opportunity to deepen our relationship with God. The day ahead is an opportunity to develop faith, to know God more. Remember, as it says in 2 Corinthians 4.16, our inward person is renewed day by day. O oh Lord, let me seize with open arms the blessing of this day. Let me reflect with gratitude at how your mercy is always there even with the dawn of each new day, as though constantly renewed. Lamentations 3, 22-23 His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Let me commit to this day, then with the fullness of my body and spirit, let me be alert with the fullness of all my senses. When we attend to the service of others today, let us be present for them, so that we can show honour to everyone, as it counsels in 1 Peter 2.17. Let us be present for our family and remember not to take them for granted. In so doing, we demonstrate gratitude for the people in our lives. Heeding Ephesians 5.20 to give thanks always for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In turning to God this morning, we have shifted the trajectory of this day. The start of a new day gives us the opportunity to come at things with a new approach. 
and approach more greatly aligned with our deepening faith. As it tells us in 2 Corinthians 5.17, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And so, I enter this day renewed. God, set me forth on this day. Let me show gratitude and celebrate the gift that is my life by giving the best of myself to this day. Let me make you proud in how I dance with what this day has to bring. Let me exhibit the qualities of goodness that you teach. Let my faith and connection with you deepen. How I treasure my faith and relationship with you. Let me meet this day head on.